We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Eddie, it seems very simple. I mean, we're watching a guy here that moves his head. And it seems very simple that, hey, don't get hit. Get out of the way of a punch is the easiest way to defend yourself. But can you get caught up in that when you have good head movement of thinking that's the only way to go? Yeah, you know, that's a good point. You can become like a basketball player who's a really good dribbler. You forget to shoot the darn ball. If you make a miss, you better make them pay. Duran with a block. Roberto Duran's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Chavez's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Chavez is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Roberto Duran's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Protecting his head well with his guard. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Chavez. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Chavez is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. End of round one. Duran's last round to meet Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Julio Cesar Chavez. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Scored well up top. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Chavez. Chavez is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. He doesn't look good, but yet he's throwing rather than clinching. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Chavez. Chavez is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Oh, good exchange there. Chavez's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life, boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well-conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, the athlete happens to be over 1,000 pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter, know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. Come on.
That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. That's okay. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. The old one-two scores for him. Chavez has been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should, did you see that? He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Duran's now getting back up off the canvas. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Smart jab by Julio Cesar Chavez. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Headshot lands was a hook. To the head he goes with a left hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Roberto Duran. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back well we heard his analysis but as for how teddy has scored those first three rounds here's a look chavez is not skipping a beat he came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Jab with a straight, classic combination. Roberto Duran finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the result. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Accurate uppercut, you'll see. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Julio Cesar Chavez. You need to block. Chavez is doing well here with that two punch combination. Duran's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. That's a solid right hand by Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Digging in with a left to the gut. Listen to me. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Duran's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Julio Cesar Chavez. He 
nearly lifted him off the ground. What an uppercut by Chavez. Roberto Duran showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together, a good combo by Julio Cesar Chavez. Julio Cesar Chavez landing a huge uppercut. Chavez is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by Chavez. <laughs> Engages in the clinch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Chavez. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Not able to land the headshot. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Chavez is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And round five comes to an end. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches. But that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five. Durant's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Nothing there on the punch by Roberto Duran. A crushing two-punch combo by Julio Cesar Chavez. Roberto Duran with a big right hand. What a big shot. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five. It's over. This fight is over. Chavez is in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner.